<laughs> r slash rules horror posted by you slash bland horror fan how to survive the monster under the bed it's past 10 pm you are watching tv with your grandparents while your parents are out of town they said that they would come back in tomorrow's afternoon your grandmother looks at the clock and says good dear look at the time it's getting late we should all go to bed just one more episode and then you go to bed too all right honey sure grandma you said while looking at the tv your grandma pats your head after that she heads to her bedroom and shuts the door you are now left alone with only the light of the tv and a small lamp standing on a nearby table you should probably go to bed now you get up and turn off both the tv and the lamp you pet your cat it appreciates you and it purrs you grab your torch and your gba and you make way to the second bedroom you open the door as it creaks you shut the door again and turn on the lamp on the bedside cabinet as you lay down in your bed and continue your little game in your gba you hear something moving under the bed i didn't know there were rats living under the bed you think as you turn on your torch to look under the bed suddenly something stops you from looking something is giving you a feeling that you shouldn't look under there you grow curious as you start looking at the drawers then before you know it you start opening them one by one until you see something it's a paper with something written over it it's probably a list but curiosity gets better off you and you decide to read it this is what was written on the paper there's something under your bed it's not an animal and surely it isn't an object moving around it's something that comes off your nightmares perhaps a monster i've covered some rules here they go rule one don't leave bed just lay down and wait until morning no matter what happens if you do it will chew on your foot and there it off and believe me you don't want to experience the pain i did rule 2 keep the lights on you do not want to be in complete darkness because at any moment it can come out and display your worst fears before devouring you that's what happened to my little brother when we slept here rule 3 keep noise down as long as you keep noise down it will stay in complete silence and will probably think that no one is in the room this gives you a chance to fall asleep but I wouldn't risk it if you are a heavy sleeper. If you keep getting loud, it will be sure that there is someone else in the room. In this case follow rule 3a. Rule 3a, if you think the monster knows that you are in bed because of the loud noises you made, then do one thing to ensure your survival, hold your damn breath. You can trick him by staying completely silent. If you continue making loud, high pitched noises, there's a very high chance it will come out of the bed and do God knows what to you. Rule 4. Don't try to tame it, just don't it will bite your hand off, it's probably always hungry, so keep your limbs off the edge of the bed. Rule 5, the monster may mimic voices of loved ones or of people that you know, only if he knows you are in the same room as him. Just don't fall for it. If you do it will possibly make you its next meal. Rule 6, don't bring any pets into the room with you, it will be eaten by the monster and I'm sure it will want to ensure their survival too. Keep your cat or your dog off the room. You want one to hear their cries of pain as they are slowly being eaten. Rule 7, screaming for help is pointless, it's like no one can hear you inside this room. Plus that'll just screw you over because off the loud noises. At this point you're probably dead so just give up. Rule 8, and most importantly do not at any circumstances look under the bed, I still remember when I foolishly looked under there, its face was pale, its eyes were just looking at me and its body was completely still, he didn't look like he was breathing and I sure didn't hear anything. I was frozen in fear, and I was in shock at what I just saw, it slowly crawled in my direction and it grabbed my face with its hands, its cold, sweaty hands it then opened its mouth, full off sharp, yellow teeth and it took a giant bite off my face. I'm in so much pain right now, I feel like I want to scream and cry at the same time while writing this, my pen is slowly but surely running out of ink, blood is dripping down my face, my arm is still bleeding, it feels so cold but I'm not sure if I'm shivering from fear or from pain. That's where the note ends, you put it on your bedside cabinet while not being sure if this was supposed to be a joke, but then again that noise you heard under the bed may tell a different story. You decide to continue playing your GBA and completely ignore the note, the GBA slips out of your hands and falls to the ground. Shoot. I hope it didn't break you say while reaching for the GBA. While you were reaching for the console, you feel something else grabbing you. You look down, it's another hand coming for under the bed, you foolishly look under the bed. There was another thing under the bed, all you could was a face, their scratches near their mouth, their skin was badly burned like whatever was under the bed was hit with a flare gun, their eyes were looking at you, completely hollowed and they weren't moving. Its mouth was wide open, it was full of sharp teeth, its body was covered by black hair. 
Its hand was covered by bite and scratches, there were also chunks of flesh missing from its whole arm. Its nails were black and long. All of the sudden it spoke, don't. And that's all that you remember before passing out. You woke up the next morning on your bed, you checked the time, it was 7 am, you decided to tell your grandparents what you saw under the bed, but when you finished telling them about the monster under the bed, they started laughing. You remember looking at your grandmother while she said, Oh sweetie, how silly of you, monsters don't exist. Next story of this video. Posted by you slash chill, guy 047. Rules for walking alone at night. You have either decided to test your confidence or you've been forced to do this. You are walking along a sidewalk in a local neighborhood when it's dark out. You are the only one there to your knowledge. But you truly aren't. You are never truly alone. I will guide you on how to survive this with an optimal mental state following this occurrence. 1. You walk along the sidewalk with your hands forming fists when you notice something is balled up in your fist. You open it to find this paper. Don't trust the rules in italics. They are lies and plan to deceive you into your demise. The rules in bold are rewritten by previous survivors. Follow them if you decide to trust the ones before you. 2. If you ever see a car coming from where you are heading, then give the driver a wave. They deserve it after what happened. However, if the car is coming from where you came, then ignore it completely. Try to resist looking back towards it, if you can. 3. If you hear rustling in the trees by you as you walk. Don't look at the fruits. They are fakes. 4. If you see someone walking towards you on the sidewalk you're on, then continue walking and stay the same path. 4a. If that person is faceless, you must acknowledge its feature. 5. If a car pulls up beside you and stops or slows down, then you must get and continue walking and ignore it. 6. Don't look towards the windows in the houses beside you. They will stare back. 7. Time will not pass until you have made it to your house. A friend's house will be safe. 8. If you find money on the ground as you walk, pick it up. 9. You will eventually notice that there are eyes watching you from the dark. Pay no attention to them. Continue on your way. 10. You have made it to your house. Enter it and relax, knowing that you are safe. Consequences 1. If you decide to ignore these rules, you will be possessed by the watchers. 2. If you fail to greet the oncoming car, you will be far more unlucky in the coming events. If you acknowledge the car coming from behind you, then you will find a book on the sidewalk ahead labeled, The Visiting. It will help to read it once you're home. 3. If you stare at the fruits, your sanity will drop dramatically, and you will see eyes staring at you from the dark. 4. If you fail to continue on the path, you will be rapidly chased by the figure. If the figure catches you, you will join them. 4a. If you fail to acknowledge its feature, you will be torn to pieces. 5. If you fail to continue walking, you will be taken and will never be seen again. 6. If they stare back, you will see them in your own home if you manage to survive. 7. If you fail to make it to your home before you go out. The insane will join them while the dead will be reminders for the next ones. 8. If you pick up the money, there isn't really any consequence to not picking it up either. It just helps you if you survive or need to bribe savage or feral survivors. 9. If you don't pay attention to the eyes, you will experience such trauma through their gazes that it will drive you insane. 10. You have made it home. If you leave your house late at night again, you will have to suffer through this more.